Hello, everybody. Uh, I wanted to share some information I found uh, after scouring the internet, and uh, if it's something that you might run into as well, uh, I wanted to present uh, this particular solution to you. So uh, here what we're looking at is a uh, Compact Sport Elite. Uh, it's identical to the Compact Sport Elite 2.0, except for the 2.0 includes uh, the TENS uh, feature for pain reduction. Uh, so that's really the only difference. All of the high-end Compax units, which are EMS capable, uh, which is the, the way of, of stimulating muscles uh, using electrodes, uh, they all look the same, but they're different colors. So this is the Elite one, which has the most programming, uh, but they all connect to the same kind of electrode connectors uh, uh, the Sport Elite and the 2.0 and the whole line of those, uh, all those units have the same kind of connector. So they end in these uh, electrode snap uh, connectors, which you probably are very familiar with, and it comes with uh, four of them. And the reason that I'm making this video today is that uh, uh, it is very well known that the Compax uh, gel pads are extremely expensive. Uh, not only that, the replacements are extremely expensive. Uh, and the snap connectors are about 3.7 millimeters at the snap point, which is the little metal piece that connects inside of these uh, plugs. So that's, um, that's the, uh, you know, the pad little, little dimple connector. It looks like what you find in, like, uh, if you look at a pair of jeans that have a snap connector uh, at the point of the belt, belt buckle, it kind of looks like that. Uh, but we're going to make this video today because uh, I was having a very difficult time finding uh, less expensive uh, Compex pads. The pads don't last forever, and if they get greasy or, you know, the stickiness goes away, um, they're kind of useless. And so, you you know, they don't last forever, and so you got to toss them out and replace them. And, man, if you've looked at the Compex pads, uh, they're extremely expensive. Uh, I think they're $40 or $50 for just a pair of pads. It's, it's quite egregious, actually, uh, because the rest of the industry has moved on with selling you 50, 60, 100 packs uh, for 10, 20, 30 dollars. It's, it's a lot less expensive. And it's essentially the same thing. I mean, some could argue that the Compex pads have, you know, stronger uh, uh, fabric foundation and the gel's a little thicker and the electrode plating is a little bit more distributed. However, I've tried the copycats, uh, and they're and they all pretty much do the same thing. I mean, unless you're using the the pads for at the highest peak levels that the Compex can produce, you're probably going to be fine with the with the uh, no name brand. So the reason I'm making this video is that you can't just go on the internet and get easily uh, Compex replacement pads that are off brand. Uh, you know, there's a ton of brands out there that are going to try to sell you pads and tell you that they're Compex compatible. But if you look very, very carefully, uh, the pads not only have a snap dimple, but they have an indentation in the middle of that snap dimple uh, because that is what makes those, uh, those snap points proprietary. And so today we're going to talk about modifying the, the default cable that comes with Compex so that it fits the standard 3.5 millimeter uh, uh, um, without the impact point at the center of the snap point. Uh, so, so you just go off on the internet and you buy a 40 pack and they'll work with this change. So the, the way you're going to change it is if you look, if you look inside of, um, of these uh, Compax units, and I've already modified these, but you're going to, if you look at the ones that you have, they have what appears to be like a little triangular dimple uh, popping up at the center point, at the very center point of the inside of that dimple. Now you can probably see, I don't know if it's focusing well here, uh, but you can probably see that uh, this does not have that dimple anymore. It looks like it's been squashed, actually, if you see that. And that's on purpose. So so that's part of the, of the modification. So what you do is you take one of these dimples, uh, I'm sorry, one of these snap points, and you take a... Uh, uh, maybe a square bit that you find, you know, in your hardware pack, uh, kind of like this one. This is about, um, you know, about three millimeters by three millimeters. It's just square. You can also take an Allen 
endpoint, anything that fits in here uh, flush and completely. You don't want anything that's going to dance around. It's got to be a good solid insertion. Um, and then what you do is you essentially uh, take uh, the dimple here and uh, you know put the put the bit uh, right right inside the dimple. And again, I'm holding the camera here, but you'll take the hammer. And again, I, I do recommend, by the way, that you you put the back side of the dimple on a piece of soft wood or wood, not a piece of metal, not a piece of marble or anything like that, because then you're just going to damage the snap point. And these cables are expensive, so you don't want to break it. You don't want to damage it. And you can see here that they're, they're undamaged. And uh, anyway, you give it you give it about uh, three good whacks with a hammer, and you'll you'll kind of feel it out. But you know, maybe give it two whacks and see how much you've you've indented the dimple that's inside of there. Eventually, you're going to get to a point where the dimple is almost flattened out completely, and essentially, you'll see a very small, a very small evidence of that work on the back, uh, because you know now there's a teeny tiny little change to the backside, but it's it's cosmetic. It's extremely minor, uh, but you'll see that that you know it's going to look a little bit different. So fair warning. But the bottom line is you're not you're not damaging the snap connector. Uh, you know, these are pretty robust. I've, I've changed all mine. I've been using them for months like this and you know, they all work fine So this is just a small change that you're making Anyway, so you're gonna give it maybe two good wax look inside make sure it's flat if it's already flat Just stop right there. You've done enough mod if you need to give it a, a third good one uh, You know to get it to be totally flat then again, you're gonna kind of feel it out, but you know, I'd probably modify one, see if you're happy with it. These come with four cables. Um, and if you if you feel like you've gotten the hook on it, uh, then do the other three and uh, you're off to the races. So the other thing that's important is that the snap connectors from Compax are 3.7 millimeter and the majority of the industry is 3.5 millimeter. So how do you get around that? Okay, the way to get around that is you take a jeweler's uh, a flathead screwdriver and this is the... Uh, this is the 1.4 millimeter uh, one here. It's the, the 1.4 millimeter. So it's the smallest one. And if you look inside of the connector, uh, there are these, you can barely see it here. There are these little like flat edges that grip onto the, uh, onto the uh, snap. And if you can kind of see there, it's kind of tough to see. Uh, I don't, probably don't have enough light. Um, See if I can focus in on that. Yeah, there you can see that there are these slits uh, where you can you can slide in uh, the the jeweler screwdriver, uh, kind of like uh, kind of like that. So you just slide it in, and you just you know very gently and again it slipped there, but you'll very gently slide it in and just do a very minor twist. And that will that will allow this to now fit 3.5 millimeter snaps, and you're just barely modifying this. In fact, these will also still fit the uh, the 3.7 millimeter snaps from Compax without any issue at all. Uh, so we're just making a very small modification of these so that they fit 3.5 millimeter uh, generic um, snap uh, electrode pads. And uh, anyway, that's going to save you tons of money over the long term. And uh, anyway, that's my tip. I wanted to show it how it was done. And anyway, enjoy. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.